Hi guys, it's me, Gordon from GW TV, and today we are getting an Oz Tops roof fitted down at the Dub Hut in Lid, just outside Ashford. Let's go and have a little look. So I'm here at the Dub Hut down in Lid, just outside Ashford. These guys have got a great little showroom and workshop. They do all sorts of different bits and bobs behind me. There's units, and they've got beds, rock and roll beds, heaters, they can fit windows. They are Kent's one-stop shop for your conversion needs. I was gonna head up to Oztops to get the roof fitted. They've got a network of fitters all over the UK and the closest one to me is the Dub Hut. They're about an hour from my house in Sittingbourne. So we arranged for these guys to fit the roof rather than me traveling all the way up to Leeds. So that's super, super convenient for me. So what we're gonna do, just head out into the workshop and we're gonna go and meet Callum and see them actually fitting the roof onto the T6 project right now. Let's go. So you can see the guys here have got my van all wrapped up nice and warm. It's just really to stop any uh, of the paintwork getting damaged, stuff like that. Particularly a lot of metal flying around as they're cutting the roof off. There's Callum up there. Say hello, Callum. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and so we're just going to get in for some close up while they're doing that. Let's go. So the roof is off. I'm just gonna jump in, show you what it looks like from inside. <laughs> so yeah, check this out. We are inside the van, there is no roof. The guys are just gonna quickly tidy this up. We're gonna hoover it out, get rid of all the metal filings. And then the next thing is to fit the frame. And then after the frame, literally just start fitting the roof, tidying it all up, bonding it all up. It's gonna look awesome. Really looking forward to seeing what this looks like when I come and pick it up. So the guys have done the riveting, which you can see just here. So basically this gets bonded on um, and then they rip, drill through and rivet it as well. So these are basically, this is the frame that's going to hold the roof, keeps everything together. They've obviously changed the rigidity of the roof and there's mastic that's gone in here. That's all been riveted down and clamped. You'd have seen the last couple of videos, we're fitting the windows. I'd had a few people actually asking what do they look like from the inside. So now's a good chance you can see quite a nice, tidy, neat job. So guys, check this out. You want to see the roof? Little reveal in here. It. It's been in the spray roof. It's been sprayed white. Look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. Okay guys, so I'm gonna head off home now. You can see the guys here at the Dub Hut have half got the roof on. A little bit more trimming to do, a few more things to be bolted down. I'm gonna pop back in a few days after the weekend, come and collect this. We'll do a little bit of a reveal, see what it all looks like. So I'll see you soon. Several days later. Hi guys, it's me, Gordon from GW TV, and we're here again 
at the Dub Hut. It's been just over a week since I dropped my van off. There's lots of problems with me collecting it just due to work and stuff. Apologies if I'm a bit croaky. I've just been recovering from the flu, but we won't go on about that. As you can see just behind me, there is my van, the T6 project, all ready to come and collect. We'll have a little look at the roof. Let's get up close and personal and see what an excellent job Callum and the team here at the Dub Hut have done in fitting this Oz Tops roof for me. Let's go. Okay guys, so you can see behind me the T6 project. The roof is up. It's looking absolutely amazing. Super pleased with the job that Callum and the team here at the Dub Hut have done in fitting this for me. It looks absolutely awesome. You can see it's got the red scenic canvas and it's made of marine grade material. So it's uh, very hard wearing, waterproof. It's absolutely perfect for the job of being on a motorhome or a camper van. So we'll just have a quick little look around the roof, look at the hinges, some of the other bits from the inside, and then I'm gonna drive it home. So you can see these black hinges at the back. They're actually treated in such a way that they're rust proof which is great and then there's a big pneumatic kind of shock absorber there at the front um, and one on both sides so that helps holding up the roof you can see that the canvas has got a zip going around the bottom of it it's actually a scenic one so it folds up there's a window at the front two net windows at the side there are these poppers just here and here which help you attach this and so that's pretty much it from the outside it's bonded on it's sealed it's watertight that's absolutely amazing Okay guys, so one of the things I just want to show you, obviously this bed's not been trimmed, the bottom half of it, or the top half actually here. Got some wires there for putting in a reading light. But the reason I've left those is because obviously the whole van needs insulated and then carpet lining first. And I want to make sure the carpet that I put on here is going to be the same that's on there. So if the company had already done that, it could be a different colour and I don't want mismatching colours. It's just easier for me to take that part on as part of the project. But this bed, you literally just pull it down. See, it's got its own little gas struts, these bits here, so it goes up and it goes down really really easily and then that just pops down there and then you can see that's nice and flat so that would be where the back bed is just there and then as you come up here this is the bed upstairs there's a great little mattress on here and you can see at the back there's that bungee cord that's going all the way across uh, that bungee cord is actually to keep the canvas in from the rear when you're pulling the roof down so it doesn't catch in those scissor hinges at the back because that obviously would really mangle up the canvas so you can see the roof there up with the canvas up um, obviously the bottom of the bed hasn't been trimmed yet I'm going to get that done when I get all the carpet done so it's all the same colour but you can see what that looks like with the scenic canvas open looks very very smart you can obviously have the bed down as well so that you can literally sit up there use it as a bit of a viewing gantry which is quite amazing so I'm in the van first things first we need to attach this bungee cord so it stops it all catching up in the hinges okay now next up you can see behind me these straps what we're going to do is just pull on those evenly and then that is going to cause the roof just to come down and as we do that we're going to be folding the inside of the roof canvas inwards so it doesn't get trapped outside of the roof cap when it falls down so I'll just put this here hopefully you'll be able to see me from the outside as well so we're just pulling evenly now the other thing to notice is I've left the side sliding uh, door open because we don't want to kind of create a vacuum in here so you do that all the time when you're opening and closing the roof There we go. I'm just balancing that on my head, as you can probably see there. And then we're just gonna pull this down. Now guys, you can see here, that's all folded in nicely. And so what I'm gonna do is just tidy that up, make sure it's not all creased. I'm gonna pull this all through, so that's nice and secure. Same on the other side, and that is down. That roof cap is now all nice down and secure. The inside, that's all tucked in nicely. These straps just, just get folded up and tucked back in under the roof. So there we go, that looks amazing. Really, really pleased with that. So how's that for time? And you can see it's raining. I'm just gonna say goodbye to the team here at the Dub Hut. They've done an amazing job. 
There is my van. I'm really, really happy with it. As always, great job. I love Oztops. Oztops roofs are fantastic. I don't say that as an advert. I say it because I'm a customer. It's the second one I've had now. If you're interested in seeing the first one, a link will come up in the description, seeing that fitted on the T5, but it's basically the same as the T6. They've done a wonderful job. So if you're down in the southeast and you're thinking about getting any work done and you need a company to do that for you, then I'd encourage you to check out the Dub Hut. They're based down in Lid, but they're actually, after Christmas, which is in a few weeks, they're moving to a new unit in Ashford, a massive unit. I'm just going to go in and see the guys. Let's go and check them out. So this is Maria, just in here. Say hello, Maria. Hi. <laughs> so Maria's going to be answering the phone usually. Um, but if you guys have got anything that you need kind of inquiries or anything like that, then give these guys a call. Link will be in the description. And then here's Callum. Hello, Callum. All right, mate? Yeah, mate, yeah. Um, what are you up to right now? Have a clean up. This one is for sale. So, yeah, Callum's been working on this T6. You can see it's absolutely beautiful. It's all kitted out inside. They do all sorts of conversions. Um, the whole lot, the full Monty. So let's have a look inside, shall we? Let's have a look. So there we go, look at that. Let's change camera angle, shall we? So there we go, check this out. They're just cleaning this up. It's pretty much all finished and converted. They've done this one from scratch. Um, when I first actually came in here, this was an empty van. Um, and now look, LED lights all the way along and lovely carpeted pop-top roof. Um, really nice seats in the front. It's got really nice units. It's just a beautiful, beautiful conversion. You can see these seats. It's a, it's a lovely vehicle. This is a lovely vehicle. And so there we go, guys. That is an Oztops roof fitted on the T6 project. I really encourage you, if you want to check out these guys, link will be in the description for the Dub Hut. The same with Oztops roof. Link is in the description. And uh, guys, if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.